Calligraphy was first introduced to me as an art form, and so I have a lot of respect for it since childhood. My father and grandfather were both calligraphy masters, and I was fortunate to be able to study with my grandfather for several years. I was especially touched and inspired by how calligraphy was used in the Confucius ceremony my family would hold at home to make a special event. I was born in Seoul, Korea, eight years after the end of the Korean War. So when I was growing up in the 60s and 70s, my environment was very monochromatic. To this day, my work has been influenced both by monochromatic and black color. My father would decorate beautiful folding screens with his calligraphy. Everyone would dress in traditional neutral off-white costumes. When the ceremony began, my father would write calligraphy on Korean rice paper in front where everyone could watch. He would read and chant and burn the paper at the end. It was extraordinary. Watching this process made me want to learn not just the physical skill of calligraphy, but gain insight to the spirit and soul of the calligraphic process. I started painting when I was very young and spent many years making realistic paintings and drawings at school. I didn't begin doing abstract art until I was 22 years old. When I was in the art program in Hongik University in Seoul, I knew I wanted to break away from the restrictive and perfectionistic style of representational art. And I struggled a long time to do this. I made my first professional series uh, during my graduate study in Sydney, Australia. I was using mostly freestyle brush stroke, which I called meditative gestures. Since then, I have been interested in connecting calligraphy and gestures and to find my own style. I really liked the process and the results that came from my experience with calligraphy. I felt it was a very honest way for me to express where I was at the moment. The more I researched and progressed in my gesture painting, the more I wanted to show the soul of calligraphy. Calligraphy has both spontaneity and a controlled patience, and I want to deliver both in my artwork. My goal is to make my own organic gesture, moving away from traditional calligraphy. I learned that I had to practice and work to deconstruct the traditions. It was only then that I had learned a way to recreate an art form into my own style. In my new series, I want to express the essence of calligraphy. Then I will be free.